Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. I got a, another tutorial for you guys. First let's get this YouTube stuff out of the way. If you like the content make sure to smash that like button. And then share it on your social media. When you share it on your social media follow me on that bird app. The link is in the description. Subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell for all if you haven't done it yet already. And leave some comments underneath the video if you've got any questions or comments. Just leave it below the video and I'll get back to you. I always read my comments, guys. That's all the free and easy things you can do to help support the channel. If you want to support the channel directly, look in the description. Use the Ko-Fi link for a one-time tip or the subscribe star to join as a channel member. Otherwise, underneath the YouTube video, use the join button or the super thanks button. All right, guys. Let's get into this. Roll that intro. Okay, now we're going to make our interior cell for this nice little farmhouse that we've got built in our thing. Oh, wait, I've got an idea. I also, uh, what I want to do is, is I want to go to static and I'm going to type the word chimney in here. And what I want is this one yes the byoh byoh wr hub chim chimney exterior one because you know these farmhouses should have had this chimney on it already and it it places really high up so you have to you have to move it down of course and i'm gonna place it because I know how the interior is going to be set up. I'm going to place it over here. And then I'm going to place this over here. And drop it down. And just for shits and giggles, I'm going to go to movable static. Leave chimney in the filter. And I'm going to use the FX effect for chimney smoke so that the chimneys you see the smoke coming up out of the coming up out of the chimney from a distance which looks cool all right so we got that taken care of let's go to world and go to cells and we're going to have to create us a cell so right click and choose new now given an id do not do not put any underscores in the id so put your tag put your tag in right here mine is like this and then uh put your id because if you put a if you put an underscore in between your tag and the, the name of the cell, what's going to happen is it screws up the saves. And your saves will um, be shown not in your character's profile. You have to click on show all saves and find it. So just don't put the, just don't put the underscore in your gut. So we're going to create that. And for the location, we are going to choose our interior location, our default acoustic space. That's how it sounds inside. Uh, I'm going to use interior wood medium acoustic space because it's a farmhouse. Uh, music type, you can pick any music type you want. You can put, you know, whatever you want. But I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to, 
I'm just going to uh, put the tavern music in so that it does. You don't have to worry about the has water. Image space. Uh, if you're doing the farm, use the farm one. Uh, if you're doing a dungeon, a castle, whatever, look through the list and find what you need. But I'm going to use the farm image space. I'm going to push apply. I'm going to go to lighting. And I'm going to choose farm lighting template. Now, if you want to kind of make it a little bit clearer in there, you can turn. I'm, I usually turn off fog power and fog color. So there's no, you can't see fog in there. Uh, clip distance, light fade distance. That's great. Yep, yep. Everything's good there. Push apply. And we're just going to call this the farm. And in counter zone, you don't have to worry about. Uh, you can put the never resets. Uh, never resets, I think. It, no reset zone. And that means... For the no reset zone, if you look over in world data and go to encounter zones, type in no and no reset zone, open this up and it'll say never resets. But it doesn't have any ownership. So what we're going to want to do is make our own. M9 and we can actually put an underscore in that never resets uh, location our interior location and we're going to put the player as the owner just like that push OK yes and now we can go ahead and we'll apply Push OK. We'll go back to our world cells and click on our farm here. Go to interior data and choose our no reset zone. Make the player as the owner. And you don't need public limit. You don't need public area that's used for like ins and stuff. Uh, if you own, if you don't own the cell, you might want to put it public area if you're making an inn or something like that. But we're not. We're just making a house. Uh, you can make it to where you can't wait in the house. But that is all we need to do with that. So we're going to push OK and save our mod. And click in here and you'll see it. And we'll open this up and we'll start building our interior. 